the year has been unprecedented in terms of the volatility that we've seen in the market. Um, definitely characterized by you know, the volatility within consumer confidence, but also in the foreign um, exchange markets, not always based on fundamentals, but some of them on sentiment. And obviously the huge inflation that we've seen in our input costs um, through the last 12 months. All of those have a significant influence on our business. Um, I think the other thing that underlies that is it's been highly unpredictable. Um, and past norms and trends have not necessarily applied in these last few months, which has made it a little bit more difficult to actually steer uh, where we're going for the future and therefore to predict what action should be taken. So the management has had to be a lot more fleet of foot and a lot more vigilant in terms of the um, changes that happen on a daily basis. What we're really trying to do is find the sweet spot between growth, understanding we are a growth company and we want to accelerate our growth, not only locally but internationally as well. At the same time, looking at our cost agenda, benchmarking ourselves against the best locally and the best internationally and understanding what the gap is in how close we can get to that. But at the same time, making sure that we have the best people that are motivated and energized to be able to deliver the agenda, understanding where we have gaps in our capability and potentially where there's some efficiency savings in some of the um, functions that we might um, look at going forward. So it's that sweet spot that we will, are looking for between growth, cost and capability. It is a very difficult trading environment um, and it's requiring day-to-day -day attention. Um, we're really having to treat this business almost as if it were a hotel business or like our bakery business. You don't let a day go with, with a slippage in terms of your sale and make sure that you have a forward look around your pricing and that you're not caught leaving money on the table in terms of some of the cost pushes. Um, so we're very focused on that. For the first six months, certainly, we're likely to see inflation um, at higher levels. Um, than the sort of general inflation CPI number that we're seeing. Um, and I think as the base effect kicks in and the soft commodities hopefully moderate, we'll see some, some relief on, on, um, on, on that. The commodity prices and forex environment is still quite volatile. So you're getting some quite significant swings. You know, the maize price in a, in a week sort of ran sort of between four and 500 rand. So it makes it quite quite challenging to, uh, to, to manage um, a forward view on that, but, but you know, we, we think we're fairly, fairly well onto it. Um, for us, that key thing you know, that Lawrence alluded to is focusing quite clearly our investment and our efforts around our core brands um, to get market share growing again is significant for us. Mm -hmm.